Today marks two years since a Lombard native and Navy veteran was kidnapped in Afghanistan. He's still not home, and President Joe Biden is now calling for his release. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe details what we know about this case. Two years since Mark Frerichs was kidnapped and two years since his family has been begging and pleading for his safe return. But right now, it's still not clear if or when he'll come home. I want to say to President Biden that you're well aware of my brother. You know my brother's situation. Are you doing every effort that you can to get my brother home like you would if he were your own brother? That was Frerich's sister last year, speaking with CBS News after the Biden administration withdrew troops from the region. Her brother, Mark Frerich, a Lombard native and U.S. Navy veteran, was working as a civil engineer and contractor in Kabul when the Taliban kidnapped him back in January 2020. Just yesterday, President Joe Biden released a statement saying the Taliban must immediately release Mark before he can expect any consideration of its aspirations for legitimacy. This is not negotiable. When she spoke with CBS News last year, Frick's sister says she wants the Biden administration to make her brother's return a priority, adding that there is no price for a man who served his country and can't come home. When they give me that phone call and tell me that they found Mark and he's on a plane, you're going to go meet up with them. And I would give him the biggest hug when I see him. And I don't think I want to let go. Meantime, the Taliban wants a prisoner swap. They want the United States to release convicted drug lord Bashir Norzai in exchange for Ferrick's release. In the Streetside Studio, Mugodigwe, CBS 2 News.